Hi guys, what's going on? It's your boy Snapper and I am bringing you a new tutorial. So, yeah, this is a recap of, well, not necessarily a recap, it's kind of like a redesign tutorial I made. I made it, wow, well, in July, maybe July this year. Um, it's basically how to make a 3D logo and I'm going to go over that again quickly. So, yeah, oh my lord, I didn't want you to see that. What the hell am I doing? Okay. Um, so yeah, you want Photoshop, C4D and your little shape or something you want to go over to make your clan logo. A good example of this would be someone like Horizon, um, uh, who else? I don't know. Yeah, Horizon. They've got that nice, they've got that nice little out bit, and it's like all nice and abstract. So it's kind of this is kind of like how you make that. So you want to bring in your little shape into Photoshop, and you want to use your pen mask, and you just want to go around it. I mean. Not too difficult, really. That is, this is genuinely how they make these kind of sick logos, um, and then they kind of yeah, they you you not you obviously need to import it into Photoshop after you've finished, and then like put overlays on it. There's tons and tons of overlay packs you can download, and then a CC, a color correction, flares, you know that kind of thing. It is really just a case of masking. I mean, that's kind of like <laughs> most of the, most of the transitions on Adobe After Effects are just trans uh, maskings, really. Well, maskings and uh, keyframing. But yeah, that's not the point of this tutorial. This tutorial is how to make a 3D logo. So yeah, once you've quickly gone around the outside of this, I've nearly finished. Um, give me two seconds. So I don't really like not talking in a video. I just don't like it. So I might sound a bit stupid. Oh, that was good. That wasn't. That wasn't. That was not too bad. That was not too bad. And that was alright. Okay. So once you've got this mask, you want to go to File, um, Export, Paths to Illustrator. Um, paths work path and just go into your desktop or wherever you want to save it and just save it and make sure it's Adobe Illustrator file already exists yeah I want to replace it I replaced you how'd you feel <sighs> yeah okay so um, delete 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 okay so file um, and then you click at merge I've already got a Lightroom, obviously, and I've got some pa uh, textures here, which aren't too bad. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for. So, when you get this Adobe Illustrator import, you want to make sure it's scaled one centimeters, connect splines. That is kind of just the basics. And what you want to do, I know a lot of people have a lot of problems with 3D, so an example of this would just be going to extrude nerves and then dragging the whole thing onto it. It just doesn't work. It doesn't work like that. You can't just do that. So, yeah, you want to open the group and then click Control, and then hold Shift and then click the bottom one. So, click the first one, hold Control and Shift, and then click the bottom one, and then just drag them out of the group, and then delete the group itself. So, you want um, as many extrude nerves as you need for the paths. So, I need four in this case, and then oh, drag the paths. On, oh, fuck off. Drag the paths onto. Oh my god. Drags the paths onto the extrude nibs. And there you'll see you have a nice 3D effect. Um, so then you can drag on a nice material. Um, I'm just going to quickly find one that looks alright. This grey one looks cool. I think that's exactly one, the exact one I used last time, really. So, whatever. Um, and then what you want to do is click on your extrude nerves and then change the movement up. You can change it to whatever you want, really. Make sure it's not too big, make sure it's not too small. Would be my only suggestion. Maybe about 50, that's quite quite cool. Oh my god. I seem to be lagging now. I don't know why. Did I do that one? Yeah, okay, it's this one. 50. Why don't I just type in? I don't know. Okay, so you've got your got your group 
all done, you've got all your 3D stuff done, you might want to do something else with it now. So what you can do is hit control, exact same as we did with the group, click control, click one, hold control and then shift and then click the bottom one. And then hit control C, um, what? Huh, no. Alright, all right. hit control C and then hit control V and you copy and paste it. And then you might want to do some frousy. Frousy is just an overused thing now. You know what, I'm going to make it into 50 pieces, it's going to be mental. Um, yeah, it just looks great. It makes everything, yeah, clan logos just look beast with it. Let's be fair. It might be overused, but it just looks tank. So I'll probably pause this and I'll come back when I have finished. Okay, so once this is finished all frowsy and you'll see it has changed to Xturbs Noob 1, whatever. Extrude Nerbs 1 frowsy and then yeah, that's all the frowsy pieces. So make sure they're all checked, make sure they're all um, selected as well by hitting Control and Shift and hitting the bottom one as we do. And then you can move that backwards. That, it's just a matter of choice on how much you want to do it. So go to MoGraph, Vector, Lag. God, stop the lags with no, I'm joking. Okay, go to Random. And then you'll see it just breaks it and everything goes mental and it all looks brilliant. Deformer, Deformation, Point. I don't really see why everyone does that. I just follow the crowd, whatever. Um, just change that to however many you want it. And you know what? That's about cool. I like that. So I'll render this out and I'll pause it now and I'll render it out and then, yeah. You can see what it looks like when it's done. Oh yeah, and just quickly, um, I'll show you my render settings that I use. So obviously 1280 by 720 is for the best uh, quality. Save as a PNG as alpha channel and then I've just gone onto my desktop um, anti aliasing anti aliasing bleh, um, and then best and then go to op you don't really need to change the options and I've got ambient occlusion global illumination and object glow don't really need to change any of that I don't in a way so yeah and then you can render it out so I'll be back when this is finished rendering and I'll check my Skype because it's going off like mad Okay guys, so it has finished rendering and this is what it looks like in the final image. And this looks extremely good, like guys, I'm not even going to deny it, I really like this. Um, so if you like this tutorial, please don't forget to drop me a like, a rate and a comment. This has been your boy Snapper. Peace!